Hello, my name is James Fallows. I'm a writer for The Atlantic, and my big idea is that we should learn from the Gilded Age. Let me explain. In high school, students are taught to study history's lessons. In college, they learn or should to be very wary of this exercise. In theory, historical parallels light our way forward. In reality, they're generally chosen to fit the place we already want to go. But objecti objectively, some eras share more traits than others. And to me, the best match for our current America is the last 20 years of the 1800s and the first 20 years of the 1900s, a span from the Gilded Age to the populist and progressive era, a time of economic, technological, and cultural change that parallel what we've been through. I have a five-minute list of similarities, but in two minutes, I'll just give a few nouns. Globalization, urbanization, industrialization, polarization, Jim Crow, immigration faster than we are experiencing now, a nonstop flow of inventions, first the telegraph and the telephone, the com internal combustion engine, the radio, the oil refinery, the combine, and the airplane. By comparison, our past 40 years are nothing, Google glasses and all. I won't go on because time is short and you're already thinking of ways in which their Gilded Age differed from ours. But here is why I use my big idea chit on this theme. That first Gilded Age led to something better. From the extremities of farm and factory life, the populace arose. From the excesses of unregulated, unregulated new global capitalism came the progressives. After centuries of flat out pillage, the conservation movement got its start with the national parks. After a post-Lincoln era of disdain for and exhaustion with the art of politics, we had an extraordinary range of people devoted to the public process. People as different as, and as imperfect but important as, Eugene Debs and Tom Watson, William Jennings Bryan, Susan B. Anthony and her colleagues, W.B. Du Bois, John Muir, Ida Tarbell, Upton Sinclair, various Roosevelts, the young Brandeis, and many more. Theirs was the response to the first Gilded Age. We should try, it would be a big idea, to match theirs with ours. Thank you.